hello namaste welcome or welcome back to great tarot so how are you i hope you're doing good i hope it's an amazing day so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel if you have already supported me thank you so very much in the description box i have the links of the decks i'm using if you need any information check the description box so the topic for today is the twist and turns that is coming your way with the slow solar eclipse that is happening on the april 8th in the sign of aries okay so as you can see there are six images to choose from so take your time pause the video uh, one two three four five six take your time pause the video choose an image that calls to you intuitively and the timestamps will be in the description box and always remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind so i will see you in your group hello namaste group number one you have been attracted to this image let's see what is the message what twist and turns are happening for you guys uh, we have this solar eclipse that is happening in the 8th uh, of april uh, in the sign of aries let's see what twist and turns are happening so yeah so for group number one i was seeing the image of a triangle here so for me triangle is like 333 maybe you're seeing 333 number and uh, it can be like it is done it is done like something is done you don't have to worry that that is what the twist might be something that you thought will take a long time it's going to be done for you guys and i even feel like uh, there is this alignment uh, happening your mind body soul is going to be aligned there is alignment here and when we are aligned great things happen so that is what i'm getting here your dreams are very very significant at this time as we are going to have the solar eclipse so please take note of your dreams during your dream states i feel like you're releasing those negativity i even feel like there is this release release of shame guilt that is happening something has been released maybe you have been seeing those kinds of dreams where you're underwater it feels like uh, something that has been deep hidden it's coming up it's surf surfacing and now you can know what is it that you want to release and you're releasing so please take note of your dreams your dreams contains a lot of downloads a lot of information so when you wake up just write your dreams and later that day just read it just meditate on it you will get some sort of clarity I'm sure okay so at this time particularly with uh, the solar eclipse with this new moon, moon that is happening in Aries it's very important I feel like okay uh, so let's start with the charms here for group number one I heard you have protected yourself even though uh, your emotions will be a little high these days like in the coming time I feel like um, there will be a lot of thoughts that is a little bit not so great you will you will be okay you are protected okay so that's what i'm getting here certain memories are going to resurface that you might have suppressed during during these days the reason why this is coming this is surfacing it's not to make you pain not it's not at all that's not the reason it's the reason is so that you can understand and you can release it and and maybe because of this suppressed emotion there might be uh, some patterns that is happening in your life and this is the time to break free from those patterns okay yeah look wow again look these two charms again the lizard energy it cuts the tail to survive and as you're cutting the tail to survive you will be safe and protected so this is again your regeneration this is something that you have to let go of god don't be afraid to let go of something because you will be protected you will be safe and it's a very good thing that you let go of this thing so the pattern will not repeat here so are you ready for your uh, regeneration if so let go of that thing that you have been carrying for some of you don't even realize something you're carrying some sort of suppressed emotion and as I mentioned, it's going to resurface. It is not going to be comfortable for sure. But once it resurfaces, you can let go of that. When we don't know what we need to let go of, how we are going to let go of, right? But here's something that you didn't know you had to let go of that will be clearly shown to you guys. And as you're letting go of, you're not alone. Divine is with you. And unseen power is with you. And you will be safe during this time, during this little bit emotional time i really feel like that 
so yes you're letting go of something like the tail and it will regenerate it will grow <laughs> that's for sure right so yeah so let's see what else what is the message here for my group number one uh, group number one Here's a message for group number one. What twist and turns is happening in this solar eclipse? Okay, you got two cards, so let's take that all. Uh, we have the seamless, unse unspeakable. Wow, this is what I was talking about. Eighth year. This is what I was talking about. The unspeakable, the unknown, unknown right? It feels like the invisible power is around you at this time. You're not alone. And if you look at the image, that it feels like you're safe and protected. You're in the hands of this universe as you're going through this transformation, guys. That's what I feel like. This universe is the hand and you're in this bubble and you're like the snake who is shedding the skin. And as you shed the skin, you will be safe and protected. Yes, it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Those emotions that you might have not felt for a very long time, you will be feeling that. It's only only the reason is only so you can cut you, yourself away from it it's some sort of suppressed emotion it can be anger also some of you will be feeling maybe for very long time you have suppressed your anger you'd feel like anger is a bad emotion so you don't show that you kind of suppress that and I feel like this emotion you will you will have to experience this emotion so you can completely let go it in a healthy way here so the unspeakable the unknown right is the invisible power is around you protecting you you might be seeing a lot of 11 11 yes that is talking about this new journey this new beginning as you take this new beginning as you move to this new chapter of your life as you're going through this rebirth you're going to be safe and protected because this power is all around you protecting you so whenever you see 1111, remember that you're safe, you're protected. Oh, we have number 44 as well. And interestingly, the 444 for me, it talks about like I'm stable, I'm secure, uh, like the four foundations, like a home. Where when we are in our home, uh, uh, when we are, when the doors are all locked, everything is in check, we, are, we feel safe, we feel protected. And that's the energy I feel like here. As you release these emotions within your body, you will be feeling safe, Will you will be feeling protected. So sometimes we don't feel safe in our own body. And that's why we kind of hold ourselves back from shining our own light. We don't believe that we can do it, so we don't show that authentic version of ourself right it is because of the suppressed emotions so maybe you're someone who maybe don't come out like yeah if if you have an opportunity you might not be someone who just go and take it because you feel like you're not good enough so you kind of hold back and that's what is ending for you guys that's the twist and turn here as you are understanding this is because of certain certain suppressed emotion uh, maybe because of a situation that happened in the past you kind of suppressed it and when we suppress we don't heal it now you are that suppressed emotion is coming out it's surfacing resurfacing it's going to be uncomfortable and as you let go of it you heal and what hap what is happening is the confidence is coming out like the real you is coming out and that's the reason you will be shining your light and you will be feeling safe and protected within your body within your heart and that's the reason that uh, this uh, the, the real you is going to shine and look at the mermaid uh, it feels like the mermaid is going deep down in the water playing uh, being herself right you will be be you will be yourself that's what i'm getting here so yeah so that's what it is it, it it is it is like you're finding peace within yourself that's why i saw the triangle right finding but you're accepting yourself and that's the reason of you shining your light so let's see so group number one No, don't uh, fast forward this process that is what I'm getting it like the movie when we feel like something is boring we kind of fa fast forward it I do that okay I'm someone who uh, when it's very boring I will not watch it I'll just fast forward and watch the whole movie and I'll just watch the end don't do that you cannot reach the end like that so even though it's uncomfortable it's boring you have to go through those process you cannot fast forward it 
yeah that spirit is telling you here very clearly so this is a slow journey it's not going to be fast it's a process that you have to go but but as you take that one step you will be seeing that you are feeling safe you're shining your light yes one day you might hold yourself back but the next day you will be coming out and doing what needs to be done right so yeah that's what it feels like here so listening to yourself your own heart it's it's a gradual process because we haven't been listening to our heart for so long now suddenly we cannot do that right it will take some time but you will you will make it happen so let's see what else here yeah we have the water pick and the look at the water energy being in the flow and we have the infinity symbol as well oh again we have the water tiger and again the water energy is there mermaid is also the water energy here and we have the infinite infinite symbol here a reset is coming again a reset is coming here something it feels like the computer has been slowed down because of certain uh, apps that was not required right uh, uh, so we had to form format the computer and the and the apps that was not doing any good has to be deleted like that only certain suppressed emotions are like those apps that you don't even use but it's taking the battery power it's taking your space uh, it's taking the space it's taking the battery power and it's slowing down your computer and you don't even realize that and here you are realizing that yeah this emotion is what is slowing me down that is why i'm not getting the things that i want to get in my life that's why this pattern is repeat, repeating and you are uh, you are being shown that very very clearly and that's the reason uh, you will be able to let go of it as you let go of things are going to be in flow it's going to be a slow but a gradual process here understand that things are changing though slowly but surely things are changing here so let's see what else here you're coming in your full power here yes that's what it is you're understanding your own self you're remembering who you really are right sometimes we get lost lost in this world right we don't even understand who we really are we become someone else who we, we are not and we stop shining our light and now you're finding that part of yourself you're remember you're remembering who you are as a soul that's what it is so let's see what else for group number one uh, look the five of swords again this feels like some sort of events past event that has really put so much of heaviness in your heart and you have like kind of suppressed it that's going to come out and now you will be able to heal maybe this is a person who did it maybe it's a situation that made you feel like you're not worthy that's what is changing here for you guys you're freeing yourself from this thing okay so you have eight of coins oh for some of you this is related to your work maybe there was a parent who told you that uh, you cannot be number number two. You have to be number one. Even though you got good marks, they will tell where is the other three. You know, maybe you got ninety eight. They were like, where are the other three marks, right? You know, it, just an example where you where your hard work was uh, not seen. Even though you did so much of hard work, that's what one thing I'm seeing here. Uh, this uh, again in, in your career as well. The hard work that you did, the late nights you pulled for this thing, this person didn't see. They only saw the falls, and it really pained you, right? And they wanted to be the main one, so they said certain things that hurt you. In that, in this five of swords, no one is going to win, right? They are not going to win. And so again, it feels like a child who's craving for attention from their parents. So they do, they do, they do. And then there comes a point where they realize that me doing anything will not, yeah, even if I get that number one, they will ask for something else. Uh, I'm not going, going to get that attention. So you stop doing that thing. I felt like that. And uh, yeah, somehow, somewhere you stop doing it. And now it's time to let go of that. <laughs> yeah, it feels like now you, it's time to shine your light. You know, sometimes we feel like that. Ah, what is the use if I even do there? There is no acknowledgement, so I'll just stop it. I'll just live my life. Whatever they think, it doesn't matter. You know, we come to a point like that. And we stop pleasing. And maybe you have done that. But what happened is it, uh, it really affected with your success in somehow, some ways. 
uh, it gave you a lot of failures but now i feel like those emotions will come so you can you have repressed your anger some sort of anger will come out you will feel very angry i feel like that there will be certain thoughts that will come and it will make you have anger feel that emotion so you can release that it's not a bad emotion sometimes we need to feel that emotion so we can completely release that if it's suppressed it's going to do more damage than good right so i feel like that you understanding that i need to acknowledge myself first if i don't acknowledge myself if i'm waiting for someone's validation how i'm going to get validation you will be getting that understanding that awakening that that knowledge that wisdom yes look we have seven of cups the confusion is going to fade away and this like the victory is there right yes so you are definitely letting go of a limited belief a suppressed emotion i feel like that or a limited belief that you didn't even know that existed was in you it's going to come up and you will feel a little bit confused for a particular time i feel like that but you will be able to understand why this is happening what is that that made me feel like that that i'm not good enough and you will be cutting that away like this lizard like the tail and then you will be moving forward and you will be able to claim your success that's what i feel like here okay from five of swords to six of wands it's a very good well, it's a long journey but it's worth it and as i feel like as you move forward as you are understanding that the things will start changing for you guys slowly but surely yeah wow so it's like a journey to success i feel like that yeah so maybe there was an area maybe particularly in your career area there has been a lot of failures things are going to change here as you understand that emotion as you feel that emotion you will be able to cut that so it feels like the tail will grow again right it's like regeneration and th this time you are going to get the success so let's see the messages for group number 1 I would recommend you to listen to the thought emerald table tablets. I don't know why. If you can, please do that. Immunity. Yes. Look. Oh wow! It feels nice, right? Immunity. So, again, uh, when we get a disease, like we get that immunity, right? So the disease will not come again. Like for the chicken pox, they say that. Uh, once we got it we will not get it even if we are uh, with the person who has that disease because we are immune to it so again it feels like uh, this is what is happening you're get, getting the booster <laughs> the immunity booster something like that now this thing even if it happens again in a different situation you will have the immunity you will not suppress that emotion you will be able to release it at that time so yes it feels like that that's the what that's what i'm getting here so let's see what else for group number 1 yeah intuition hmm again you know sometimes the way we have been raised we stop listening to our heart i i really feel like that we stop listening to our heart that's why we stop our shine light we become very logical we don't trust ourselves we don't trust our heart so yes sometimes we have to go to the, through these emotions so we can let go of the emotions that is stopping us from listening our own heart so once we let go of those emotions like with this anger yeah for some of you you will have to you will feel the emotion of anger and when you feel it you will be able to let go of those things major release is happening so you will be connected to your intuition to you will be connected to more love okay so let's see the final message from your spirit guides final message from your spirit team Wow. yes you expressing yourself that's what it's happening you know as you release that thing this thing this emotion you will be expressing yourself more you will become authentic to yourself you will be expressing your heart and that's the reason of uh, you shining your light you you are not going to be um conditioned by any other people anymore you have been conditioned by so many people and that's why you stop shining your light but once this as i told once this has been healed once you let go of it you get that immunity booster so if someone does the same thing again to you you're not going to get affected by that person rather you will stand up and you will show who you really are you are going to express yourself that's what i feel like here that's the that's the this that's the twist and turn that's the change here that's the rebirth here okay so express your divine passion sensual and sexual powers are increased <laughs> okay so that's what i have received for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye 
Christmas Day group number one. Let's talk about the twist and turn that is happening for you guys with the solar eclipse that is happening in the sign of Aries. Let's see what is the message you have been drawn to this image. Let's see what is the message here. You know, I've been shown the energy of a sage who has been meditating for a while and makes God happy and God blesses them with certain wishes of theirs. That is what I'm going being shown. You know, if, uh, if you're familiar with Indian mythology, there are a lot of stories. I even feel like Ravan. I'm getting the energy of Ravan. Like that, that is what being shown. Ravan, um, he prayed. I feel like it was, uh, he prayed to Lord Shiva. He was a very big devotee of Lord Shiva and he was blessed. Uh, yeah, he was blessed. He made Lord Shiva happy and he was blessed uh, with some wishes, right? Yeah. Uh, so again, this feels like a wish is going to come true. And this is a wish that you have earned. That's what it is. You have earned this wish. Um, it's not something that is like overnight given to you. It's not something that luckily happened to you guys. It's a it's a wish that you're getting because of your dedication. It feels like you have planted the seed, you have nurtured it, you have given all the love. Now the tree is growing. So that's what I'm getting here for you guys. Um, yeah, that's what it's been shown. So let's now move on to the charms and the cards here. And one more thing, I felt like be uh, be very observant because there might be someone around you who is taking your energy and you're not even seeing that uh, so don't allow anyone uh, to uh, to uh, yeah utilize you like don't don't allow anyone to take advantage of you be be, be very uh, observant about it if there is someone taking financial advantage of you or not like you know there might be a friend who calls you for dinner and they will not pay you have to pay if that has been happening for a while please you got to be very aware and please uh, you know make some space i feel like uh, there will be someone who will make you burn without you realizing that they are the one burning you um I i'm getting that energy so maybe that is also a twist here that you will be understanding someone's true colors uh, there might be someone around you who is definitely doing something uh, like using you i feel like that for your good nature here financially maybe in somehow and you don't even see that uh, so please be be more observant if someone is like taking money from you and not paying you back or maybe whenever you ask for money they they sh uh, show a different side if that has been happening please be very very observant and and don't repeat the same mistakes here so let's see yeah for some of you this this uh, this uh, truth is coming about a person who is trying to take advantage of you and i even feel like that when you will be sharing this kind of success with this person like you, I, as i felt you're getting some sort of blessings come through you the things that you've been waiting for it's going to happen right uh, so when you will be sharing this news with this person maybe this person's face will be not so happy okay so please be observant that's that's something i have to say here and that may be one of your twists uh, that you never thought that this person is the one yes it has been a very slow journey right uh, and you deserve this uh, this change again we have the bees so this is this is something that you have been working towards right you've been working really really hard you have been doing the work you have been putting the effort you have been committed to this thing uh, and yes now with this pegasus this magical thing that you wanted it's happening look again with this cactus even even when things were not happening you tried you did, you did your best again it feels like a, when they are meditating you know when the rishis when the sages are meditating even if it's cold even if it's rainy season they are going to meditate they will sit there and meditate like they will pray for the god to come and give them the blessing they are not going to waver like that you didn't waver you used your resources you didn't give up that's what the exact energy and now you're going to get paid for it you're going to get the blessing because you have made the heaven happy you have made the universe happy that's what the energy is it has been a very slow process but finally now the change is happening now you are moving on to this ne next level the commitment that you have put, uh, put out it's paying off but one tw one thing is like i'm shown here is be very observant because there might be a person who might not be that happy so please stay away protect yourself from those people be observant you will be shown that very clearly trust your intuition don't be like oh no 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 you know, most of the times many times we do that because we don't have any evidence or proof this is the time to listen to your own heart you yeah you will know look back look back and you know when you look back maybe right now you know that who this is 
a person's name came that is what it is please trust and when you look back at the scenarios you will see how they how they have uh, used you or maybe in the coming times when you will be sharing this information with them they will might not be that, that happy for you yeah you might see their face please uh, please be observant with their expression and all okay so yes let's see uh, ground and center root chakra again that's what is healing I'm getting this energy. I feel like it's a moth or a butterfly, but again, this uh, energy, that's what is healing for you guys here. The root chakra is what is healing here. Sometimes when the root is unbalanced, we will have this financial, uh, financially insecure, we will feel, we will not feel um, insecure in our family, in our own home, right? That's what is changing for you guys. That's the thing. Now you're grounded, you're centered. Now you're, you're getting that... Uh, that results that you have been waiting for yeah yeah you're grounded now you're not up in the air at the same time you're getting the downloads from divine and you're using it uh, like an idea is, if you if an idea has been given you're taking that idea and working on it rather than doubting so that you have eliminated the self-doubt through this journey like it's, it's a long journey right of dedication of perseverance i feel like that and finally the results you've been shown it's been a very slow journey with this daughter is what you're reaching there here you have worked to uh, you have balanced yourself you have worked really hard so you deserve all the things that you're getting here so many i feel like there might be someone who might say that like you've got lucky but you know you didn't get lucky right you worked for it so yeah there yeah i feel like one thing is like a person i don't know there might be a person who might not be that happy but there are people around you who really want to protect you, who really care for you and they will be very happy for the success that you're getting. Group number two. Because yes, again, like the tree, you have planted the seed, now it's growing, it's blossoming. So the group number two, what else is the message here for this solar eclipse, twist and turns? Yeah, look, again the tree image, right? Again the tree, again the, yeah, again the root chakra, we ground, like it's like planting the seeds and now it's growing here, it's like grounded, you're grounded, like you're in the in, in like in the earth right that's what it is and again this uh this uh as like this tree that's letting go of the leaves there are people you have who who you have to let go of that's what one thing i'm feeling here that's what the twist is really you gotta simplify your life someone is making your life harder than it should be giving you a lot of stress uh, yeah, there is a person here. I really feel like that. I'm sorry, but it feels like that. Maybe you really like this person. Maybe this is a friend of yours. But this person, because of this person, it's your life is becoming more harder than it should be, right? Uh, so you have been working really hard, but somehow, somewhere, this person is causing more troubles, uh, more problems, and you go, you don't need this right now, right? And it's a, it's something that you need to do. You need to let go of that person, like the leaves, letting go of that leaves. So you can simplify your life more so yeah that's one thing has been shown here so let's see otherwise you will get burned guys you don't need that i feel like this is one of the strongest message here uh, because right now you're going in a going into a life where you're getting that blessing right that you've been working really hard you're seeing the growth you're seeing the um a payoff right now right so at this time, you don't need the people who causes troubles, drama. You don't need really. So be more observant. And if there are people like that, please eliminate it. Let go of them. Don't take them so seriously. You, yeah, sometimes we got to cut them so we can may simplify our life. Sometimes because of them, our life becomes more tough. And you don't need that here. Hmm? So... And that doesn't make you a villain if you let go of it it's not it's just you protecting yourself and you have every right to do it yeah because sometimes they will try to make you the villain but you are not the villain right so let's see what else yeah wow this is a new beginning look again 
there is a lot of uh, light there is a lot of ideas also that will be coming and for you at this time work on those ideas because i feel like you've been really grounded so you will be working rather than doubting it so this is amazing so as you're getting these ideas as you're working this is going to give you a lot of uh, rewards right so but one thing is like someone is really causing a lot of troubles as you are as you, as you have this idea there, yeah this person might cause a little bit of troubles or distraction that you don't need right now so that's why i feel like please let go of this person or it can be not a person it can be a thing that is causing a little bit of trouble maybe a habit that you need to let go of so you can simplify and you can focus on this thing that is important because as you get this idea as you work on it it is going to give you that rewards that you're waiting for right so please don't get distracted if there is a habit that distracts you please let go of that habit simplify your life if this is a person please let go of that person so you can simplify that you simplify your life right that's what is important so you don't get distracted right now okay so let's see yeah with this two of sword i can see that oh look we have three of cups this can be a friend also maybe in your community it's someone right yeah i really feel like that so again there is two minds here two your heart will be telling something your mind will be telling something right again this is a war between that so you got you need to ground yourself so you can understand that yes this thing is actually not good for me at this time this is distracting me this can be a person as i told this can be a situation this can be some sort of habits that you have you have to contemplate here like yeah this is this is making my life harder I want to let go of it so I can simplify my life. Again, this can be routines as well. This can be work as well that is giving you more stress. So maybe eliminating that or maybe asking for help from other people to do that work. Not carrying the load too much is also very much necessary. So you can give your 100% dedication to this thing that is important for you and you will get the rewards as well. So please don't be distracted. Focus on this thing. That's what is important. You, are, you have a wish. You have a goal. Dedicate yourself. You have dedicated. But but I feel like there has been distraction. You have to clear the distractions. Just focus on it. And as you do it, things are going to grow for you guys here. That's what I'm getting here. Again, for some of you, your goal might be uh, making like this much amount of money. So if that is the case, look where your money is leaking. Because there might be some people who are because of them your money is leaking maybe there is some sort of a subscriptions that is not good you got to cut that you know simplify that like that okay i hope you understand this that's what has been shown so let's see what else oh and oh my god look at the background there are the snakes here ah there is not even one there are more than one oh my god i got goosebumps really there are snakes <laughs> there are people they're taking your energy they're creating a lot of trouble stress that you don't need right now please eliminate those things it can be the snakes can be people this can be situation this can be even social media you know the the content you watch sometimes it can take our energy away from us please uh, observe what is taking your energy after watching maybe some content you feel very drained what is it you know observe that and eliminate it hmm? maybe this is this might be people who you talk to and you get really drained after talking to them you know for some time maybe you don't have to let go of them for for a long like for yeah yeah just don't end it it feels like for some time please take time some time off from these people yeah just work on this thing because now is the time where you will be seeing the results very fast so please dedicate yourself to this thing only this thing okay yeah can you see the snakes like i just noticed i have for the first time i'm seeing that there are snakes in behind right look again they're taking uh, their energy it's not only one thing it's more than one okay simplify your life here simplify your life so let's see contact oh wow yeah again you know it feels like a person who's preparing for the examination someone will contact them let's go out and party let's go why are you not doing that come on yeah it's just for some time and then you go you <laughs> just an example that i mentioned you get drunk then you cannot focus on the thing you're just distracted right you're up 
yeah, you're not even focusing on the things that is important. You're focusing on something that is just, yeah, this is wasting your time. It's taking your energy away from you. So maybe this person will contact you through phone and all and tell you, go, let's go there, do that. And you, you might have to spend money. Yeah, yeah. So yes, that's what I'm getting here. <laughs> that's what it is. So let, let them go, say no. So let's see what else here. Or maybe this might be a person or co-worker uh, who will ask you for to take their shift. Please, this is the time to focus on something that is important to you guys. Maybe after your shift, you, shift, you have some sort of um, part-time thing that you do in your home, a hobby, focus on that. That's it, say no. Or even if you don't want to take the call, don't take. <laughs> yes, say no guys. That's what I'm getting here. They might show you that anger as well. Like again, the fire energy is there with this, like the fire is there, right? They might come as, this person might be really angry when you don't do what they want. Uh, yeah, maybe you have always done what they have asked you to do, but once you don't do it, they will show you that anger here. Uh, so that is one of your sign, right? They, 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 this person's root chakra is not at all balanced. They will show you that anger. They might try you try to con contact you again. This is uh, this is your time to put a stop to it. You got to do that, okay? Don't uh, don't fear their anger. They cannot do any damage. You are protected here, okay? Uh, so let's see yeah look listen to your intuition you know that i feel like look again simplify your life and intuition is uh, right so yes you've got to cleanse them you've got to let go of this person you've got to remove this person or this situation whatever this is i really feel like a person who comes whenever they need something right and makes your life a little bit more difficult here and you know you really don't need this and that's what the twist and turn is like. They will get surprised like how you're letting go of them, right? Uh, yeah, you, I feel like you're a very kind-hearted soul. Sometimes you really help people. But you know, sometimes you got to draw the boundary so people cannot... Yeah, people cannot take advantage of us. It's very important here. Mm. So this is, yeah, this is something that you have to look out for. So let's see the final message here because there is this is a good time here um, um, of, as I told I did mention a sage right I was seeing and we have both has energy here so that's beautiful right again you are you know who this person is yeah you know what this thing is that is taking your energy you know who these snakes are right you know it you know it but sometimes you kind of like uh, uh, find excuses like, yeah, this is not the person, that person is nice. You know, you find excuses, but you know deep down because you don't have any, any, any evidence. So you feel like, why I'm feeling like this? You know, this feeling is true. It's the truth. It's not illusion. But sometimes you kind of feel like, oh, why I'm thinking about this person like this? Maybe they're good. You know, I'm just making it up. But no, you have this increased awareness. You know exactly who this person is. You know it. This For this group, you know who this thing is, what this thing is. Please. And your uh, advice is let them go simplify your life you don't have to make your life this hard because of this person or the situation here your life will be so easy when you let go of it really and you will be five times ahead you will reach five faster to your goals when this thing is not there but once once you get distracted you, it will take more time here and maybe that's the reason you didn't get this thing this wish of yours because there was so much of distraction that has been caused unnecessary distraction here so you know Trust it and let go of this thing. Say no. You will have to be strong here, okay? Don't worry about their anger as well. I really feel like that. This person might feel really angry if this is a person. Uh, yeah, but you've got to do what you got to do, right? So that's what the message is here. Deep connection, trust your inner voice. You know that. You know this. I really feel like you know who this is. Yes, that's the person. Maybe you have doubts. You find you find excuses like this is not the one, this is not the thing, but that's the thing. <laughs> okay, so that's what I have for group number two. Maybe you already know that and you have been asking for con confirmation. This is your confirmation that this is the thing, this is the person. So you got to, uh, and if you're not resonating it with it, it's not your group, but for the people who are resonating, you know it, you know it, right? So that's all with this increased awareness master Buddha as well, you know it. 
so yeah that's all i have for group number two hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so group number three you have been drawn to this image let's talk about the twist and turn that is happening with a solar eclipse uh, on april 8th that is happening on oh, april 8th in the sign of aries let's see what twist and turn is happening <laughs> you know the image that was uh, shown to me is like have you seen the sperms traveling like that that was the image uh, was shown to me i don't know what it is but definitely for some of you if you're trying to conceive i feel like finally that good news will be uh, coming uh, right that is what that for some of you this can be an unexpected pregnancy um yeah i have to say that i feel like that yeah you may you yeah <laughs> maybe you already know it maybe this is your unexpected pregnancy you already got the news for some of you you might get the news and for other people maybe this is like an uh, advice if you don't want uh, to have that please be cautious right <laughs> take necessary precautions uh, yeah because i really i was shown that image okay so yeah sometimes uh, even without planning something happens yeah that's what it is i was shown that um it's a happy news in a way right but sometimes if we are not prepared it will not be happy news mm. yeah okay so let's see what is the message here for you guys mm. For group number three what is the twist and turns again we are talking about the twist and turns so for some of you this can be that twist like unplanned pregnancy uh maybe or yeah okay you, yeah not for everyone though right and uh, yeah again just for some of you please when it's a general reading just take what resonates here but i'm getting that in the here and if you're trying to conceive i feel like this is a very good time yeah so let's uh, see. Uh, again I, I feel like if you were trying to conceive pref, uh, conceive prepare your body for that like take folic as a uh, folic folic tablet something like that you know prepare yourself maybe see a doctor before uh, trying to get pregnant so they will give you the necessary thing so you can prepare it this time and this time you will you know you will be able to get pregnant if you if you if you have not taken any uh, you know or if you have not gone to doctor or if you have not if you are not doing anything maybe this is a good thing to do just just and uh, just that's what i got here so let's see oh a wish is coming true that you have been crying for you have cried for this thing your heart has uh, really really cried for this thing that is what it is so for some of you this can be you becoming mothers if you are someone whose wish is to get pregnant right and you have to be you have been trying you have been you know you have been doing everything maybe you have been doing the exercises maybe you have been uh, eating healthy you have been very active you have been taking the supplements you have doing everything but sometimes uh, things didn't go as planned right maybe there has been issues um, and you have cried tears over this wish like why when i will have this thing you've cried finally again it feels like a big heart and a small heart yeah if it's not resonating mainly i'm getting like that yeah really i feel like for many of you it's about a getting pregnant maybe you have really hard time getting pregnant um and you've cried over this thing so maybe this can be you crying over a person as well okay uh, for some of you you might have done all the things to get rid of that feeling after breakup finally you will be healing that thing and you will be feeling good like maybe you all you wish like i just don't want to feel this pain again maybe your heart has been broken right it has been broken and you you always felt that emptiness after the breakup of a relationship and you have been crying and you have been you have been feeling like i don't want to feel like this i just want to get healed i don't want to uh, you know i don't want this person to take take that yeah uh, that power away from me you might have prayed for that and for that you might have joined gym you have done a lot of things to forget this person finally you're healing it and you will not feel anything for this person anymore so that is also there okay so this is something that you have cried over and you have been doing the work in order to 
uh, get rid of this thing right again if you want to get pregnant you have been going out doing the all the things necessary that is important for your body you're taking all the supplements finally you're going to get it right yeah so this is very yeah so for some of you this is healing as well yeah and your heart and broke <laughs> like it's been healed that's what it feels like yeah for some of you if you have been single maybe uh, you will be finding a partner so let's see what else for group number three and that's for the sun right finally the dark period is over and the reason why you are seeing the sun is because of the hard work that you have been doing you want this thing you're working towards it so if you want to get pregnant you have been working towards it you have been working on your health and finally and if you want to you know heal this relationship like get out of this breakup and just feel yourself again you have been doing the work you have been going to gym you have been working on yourself you've been doing the work and finally you will be feeling good yeah so let's see and you know crying is such an, a good thing right we can release and i feel like all the all those crying really helped to heal you so let's see yeah reclaim look again reclaiming your energy that's what it is finally finally feeling good about yourself and uh, finally feeling good in your body finally feeling happy finally your heart is feeling good uh, you're coming back to yourself that's the feeling here so someone's heart has gotten broken yeah because of something that didn't come true you cried over it but you worked you worked for this thing you wanted to get back to yourself you wanted to feel yourself again and finally you will be feeling you're reclaiming your energy that's what it is you will be feeling in alignment yes like with the sun you will be shining bright so again we have this image of the snake eating its own tail so what you eat you become right but here even though it was disappointing even though you you felt your heart broken you didn't give in to that you didn't give in to this negative thoughts rather you worked on yourself right you did the work in order to get that the feeling that you want yeah if you if your heart has been broken if you wanted to feel yourself you you wanted to feel uh, yourself again you worked for it instead of giving giving into the negativity you focused on the positivity you focused on your spirituality maybe you focused on meditation you focused on going to gym you focused on your own career something like that and that's what is paying off that's why you will be feeling yourself again and you're reclaiming your energy you will be feeling like the sun bright you will be feeling positive you will be feeling optimistic here that's what the thing is so let's see what else Hmm. look access your inner knowing oh again we have the sun shining right so look you have been waiting for that shine like the mouse is waiting for the looking at the sun rise he has been waiting for a while to see the sun sun rise right you have been like that i want to feel like that the sun rising i want to feel the sun's energy right the sun is there again here uh, in your image we have the sun um yeah right uh, so uh, yes you have been waiting for the sunrise when the sun will rise when i will feel myself again when i'll feel radiant when i will feel the joy when i will feel that warmth i've been feeling down depressed lately when i will be happy and you have been working on yourself as i told this is someone who has been working on themselves we have the death you know that card or in the tarot number is 13 and we have the number 13 right so maybe i've been seeing 13 a lot but again this is the end of that chapter uh where you have been feeling like uh like depressed maybe for some of you yes depressed not happy not radiant not not feeling like yourself that's changing for you guys you are feeling like yourself again here you're feeling happy you're feeling positive you're smiling again you're yeah you're feeling like your heart is filled with, filled with love and light hmm. so that's what it is okay yeah we got the snake again yes again <laughs> So yeah, for this thing, you know, you are, you're my warriors, okay? You didn't uh, give into this negativity, even though you cried a lot of tears, 
you tried your best to feel like, like yourself. You put that effort. Look again, the football and the tennis. You did the work, guys. And finally, you will be yourself again. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so let's see, where else? The Emperor. Yes, you're reclaiming your power. Uh, Archangel Michael, is, uh, I feel like you work with him. Uh, maybe you call call him always and he's with you protecting you that is also there and we have the number four 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 is a number you might be seeing and uh, um, Yeah, we had this portal right four 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 portal uh, So maybe the yeah, that's what is changing here for you guys You're feeling in your power you're feeling in your control and interestingly We have this new moon in Aries and the Aries is shown here So definitely going to this Aries season is going to be very good for you guys You're entering the spring where you're not feeling uh, disheartened you where you're feeling like you your heart is full of love light you're feeling in your power you're happy you're happy you're radiant you're glowing and <laughs> that's what it feels like so let's see hmm yes the hard work you have put right this king of coins look <laughs> look the tortoise right again um the hard work you have put you have you have dedicated like i don't want to feel like this i don't want to beat this person i don't want to be in the dark i'm going to work out it work out like yes this is I, my heart is broken but i'm not going to sit there and uh, sit there always like i cried i cried a lot now i'm going to go out and have uh, take that fresh air and do do what i can do i'm not going to sit there you're like that kind of person slowly but surely you picked up yourself you went out even though when you didn't feel like doing something you 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 forced yourself you did you you were like no i cannot sit there i, I cannot uh, you know i have cried a lot now i cannot i want to feel myself again and that's why you did the work and slowly but surely you're getting there you're reclaiming your power right yes so whatever that disappointed you is not going to disappoint you you're healing your heart that what that is what it is you're feeling yourself again you're feeling like you're feeling happy you're feeling optimistic okay so let's see what else here. And again, if you look at the emperor and the king of coins, they are two powerful energies, isn't it? The emperor is the powerful one. The king of coins is like he's he 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 has a business that he's taking care of. His family life is okay. He's balanced. He balances things so well. And the emperor also balances things so well. They're powerful. Uh, they know what's best for them. So that's why they know when they need to be sensitive. They know when they need to be uh, analytical. They need know when they need to be logical. So it feels like the like the balance of masculine energy here. <laughs> like yeah, something like that. So hmm. so if you're pregnant, okay, if you're a woman, I feel like pregnancy is there. If you're pregnant, your man is going to take care of you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. I yeah. You will be pampered during your pregnancy. That is one of your blessings here. So let's see. Where else? Yeah, fearless. Look again, that's the thing. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah, this has been a tough journey, right? But your fearlessness, fearlessness, right? Is what I'm admiring right now. You didn't give in to fear. Yes, you cried a lot of tears, you prayed for it, but you didn't give in to that fear. Rather, you took control back. You became like that lioness, lion, right? Lion energy, you stepped into this lion energy, that courage energy, yes, that happened. Now I need to heal myself, I need to get out of this. Yes, that's what it is. You are fearless, yeah. Wow. It took a little bit of time, but now you're coming back. You're reclaiming your power. You are a fearless person. You're reclaiming it. So let's see what else here. You coming in your power. You feeling yourself like, yeah, you feeling yourself like again. Like, yeah, your heart is feeling filled, happy. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next cards. Okay. Yeah, look, disruption, anger. Yeah. Look, you might have felt really angry. Yes, I feel like your world has been shaked. Your world had been shaked because something happened. But you didn't give in to it. You didn't give in to that anger. You didn't give in to that disruption. Yes, there, for some time you were down. 
but you rise above like a phoenix here yeah, it feels like the phoenix energy who was down oh, yeah there was so much of anger in you that because something has been gone right your heart has broken a relationship has broken there was so much of anger frustration rage but your fearlessness right you worked really hard for it now finally that anger has subsided subsided now you're glowing yeah and yes it's gone the anger is gone the frustration is gone now you're courageously moving forward reclaiming your power feeling that joy warmth so something really really bad has happened i feel like something has really affected your heart soul but finally now you're reclaiming your power and i feel like that this anger is gone you have like let go of this thing completely letting go is such a powerful thing to do right it's a fearless thing to do right letting go of is never easy but you're doing it so let's see what is the final message from your spirit guide here yeah oh wow the divine director intervention and purpose divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose yeah sometimes we feel like why certain things happen in our life yeah it's it's very hard to take when bad things happen right for you guys really i feel like something that you invested in i'm seeing the presence of archangel michael as well i mentioned that uh so again mm, you know sometimes some things happen and we don't even understand why this happened why that breakup happened why why i didn't get this thing this appointment right maybe some job maybe you have let yeah you might have been fired from a job something but you didn't give in you you and i feel like right now you're understanding your own power your own courage like how you face that circumstance and you came out of it right you learn so much about yourself and sometimes in life tough tough times teach us so much uh and i really feel like that you have learned so much and and uh, and and you have understood about people right you have understood a lot of things because of this experience right if you didn't had this experience you might have not recognized yourself like this you might have not seen your own courage right so everything is happening for a reason yes sometimes it's very difficult when it's like a hard thing but it's all happening for a reason and you're safe you're protected and as you move forward there is a lot of optimism positivity that is coming and i feel like you have passed all the test <laughs> okay it feels like you yeah you might have felt like you have been you have been tested but you have passed all the test so yeah that's what the message is for my pile number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i will see you soon bye bye group number 4 if you have been attracted to this image let's talk about the twist and turns that is happening in your life uh with this solar eclipse that is happening on april 8th in the sign of aries so what i was shown a snake uh, like it's protecting its egg so it feels like a motherly energy that is nurturing and protecting her eggs right and you know uh, when when like when animals give birth even if it's dog cats they are very protective over their uh, new bonds right and that's the energy i'm getting here so someone is going to be very protective over you uh, maybe protecting you for some of you it's like your guides i i really feel like your guides are protecting over you or it can be an ancestor or a mother that is being that is protecting over you here it's just they're just protecting you you don't have to get offended or maybe for some of you it can be your mother protecting you and you might feel like they're they're overdoing it but no they know something that you don't know it feels like mother, motherly instinct i'm getting here they know if something is wrong that they have to protect from harm and yeah uh that's the energy i feel like for some of you you will be in that role maybe protecting your kids but mostly i feel like uh if if you feel like you cannot protect something don't worry because universe is protecting you mother earth gaia is protecting you it just feels like a snake that is protecting its its eggs and it's safe it's protected you don't have to worry someone yeah it feels like you are being protected right now that's what the twist yeah someone is protecting you let's move on let's see more okay yeah <clears throat> for group number 4 what is the twist and turn <clears throat> yeah oh wow 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 we have been talking about protection and we got the hamsa right we got the hamsa we got the cat and we got the 
uh, the here these three images and then we have this angel wings as well and for some of you this is your intuition guiding you to trust your inst instincts your instincts will be very very clear to you guys so trust it protect yourself uh, do what your instincts are telling you to do okay so sometimes your instincts will be like like don't go there and sometimes uh, this instinct yeah you might have a feeling like i don't i shouldn't go there but at the same time the logical mind will come and like why why should why cannot i go there right there is this fight that i'm seeing here and here i i feel like you got to listen to your intuition it feels like your intuition is kind of a kind of protecting you so you got to listen to it you will be seeing a lot of signs the universe is protecting you so maybe if you have a nudge to not go anywhere to not talk with someone do that yeah trust your own instincts here yeah trust your own instincts i don't know that's very strong here for you guys because it will protect you it will protect you it will protect you from harm it will protect you from repeating a cycle as well a pattern as well so you got to be very strong with it it's time to trust your heart more than your logical mind here you got to take your power back otherwise you will give control to someone you got to trust your instincts here it's protecting you yeah there might be a person yeah there might be a person who will tell you to do something and you will feel like no i shouldn't do it stick to it stick to it and say no yeah stick to that thing okay i am hearing the word celibacy for some of you oh that can be in a relationship maybe if you want to like get yeah maybe you don't want to have any sexual relationship with someone and you're like i i don't want only after marriage or something like that but if someone is pressurizing you to do something that you don't want to do and your instincts is like no don't do it maybe they will uh, give you a lot of explanation or something like that they will try to pursue with you don't give in to it trust yourself trust your instincts yeah i don't know why i'm getting the word celibacy but i feel like maybe some, for some of you you it's 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 maybe some some message for some of you out there but definitely trust your mother instincts it feels like a mother who know who knows what's best for their kids right like that your inst intuition is like your mother now it's aggressive i really feel like it was like no it, it feels like your ancestors are like guiding you no maybe you will be seeing a lot of signs trust it trust it because there is something that you are not seeing but they see it's because you have been protected from a cycle that is not good for you right maybe you have ended something and if you don't listen to your intuition you will repeat that cycle and they are protecting you so trust your intuition that's what i'm getting here very strongly for you guys the more you listen to your intuition the more you will be protected don't try to reason with your intuition the feeling this, this will be a very strong feeling here for you guys i even feel like when you will be trying to do something that is not based on your intuition you will find obstacles you will be having obstacles with that thing for example if you feel like oh i don't want to buy this home like and you you go like your logical mind is like this is the right time i will buy it and then you go to your computer to see look something your computer is not working like this all things will happen that's what i'm getting here universe will be protecting you that's what it is that's what i've been shown so for some of you you might will you might have these kinds of experiences that you cannot explain here at the correct time the computer will stop working and after after what after some time the computer will be okay like uh, uh, that's what it is uh, it happened to me once you know and it's 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 an experience so yeah you will experience something like that i feel like that so let's see what else here it's like spirit guides there might be an ancestors who is who is protecting you yeah so trust your intuition at this time guys okay that's a lot so let's see or maybe a mother but mostly it feels like your intuition your heart's protecting you okay i have it's it's on the floor guys let me take it for you guys give me a second here <clears throat> radical expansion yes wow yes this is time for that this is not the time uh 
to do to yeah there is something that is happening behind the scene for you guys with this radical expansion there is something that you don't see right now but that's the reason why you in why you need to protect yourself why you need to listen to your intuition because there is some sort of expansion there is some sort of growth coming but if you don't listen to your intuition if you do something then you will have to uh, wait more there will be more delays so that's the reason here yeah again it feels like the cat protecting their kittens because they have to grow like the the starting you know the new newborn phase we have to really really care for them right otherwise one mistake can lead to the death of the yeah death of the, their kitties or the newborn right so that's the reason here you need to be very 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 cautious at this time you've got to protect yourself you've got to listen to your intuition because there is some sort of expansion growth that is coming your way so at this time uh yeah protect your energy trust your intuition at this time because your intuition is going to be very loud and clear and again celibacy is the word that i'm getting here maybe practicing that will be very beneficial for you guys at this time that's what i'm getting because there is some sort of expansion growth growth that is coming your way again with this dragon you know someone uh, the yeah it, it feels like the the universe is kind of protecting you there is some sort of yeah look again you know if you look at this image of this back of the deck two two people are coming together there is a relationship that is waiting to be uh, to be yeah there is a person who is waiting to come so yeah so that's why spirit will be protecting you from the people that are not good for you or a relationship that is not good for you and that's why there is this heavy feeling for you guys that will come like i shouldn't i shouldn't do this like i shouldn't go out with this person trust it at this time please trust it i feel like that and practice celibacy I, i just don't know that word is coming here very strongly here so let's see what else uh yeah of course if you're single um uh th that's that's one thing but definitely for other people <clears throat> protect yourself listen to your intuition because there is an expansion major expansion that is coming but he, right now you don't know the bigger picture so trust your intuition trust your intuition here there is something happening behind the scenes for you guys and the things that you want is going to grow it's going to expand but at this time take care of yourself like the like the cat mother that take cares of the kitten and you are uh, like you need to trust your intuition and trust it no matter what right now the feeling right you will be shown the signs as well so let's see what else here Oh my god look we have the metal oh interesting like you know we have these two people coming together this can be relationship relationship oh we, relationship foresight and careful planning that's what it is right again this is the story of two people right they um yeah i'll just read the story for you guys from the book because i feel like this is important here this is important experiencing the greatest love there is something on the cards for you guys and that's why i feel like you got to trust your intuition have this a uh, foresight and careful planning at this time you we have the number 8 as well otherwise you are going to just repeat the cycle this is high time you break free from the cycle so that's why you got to protect yourself and trust your expand uh, trust your intuition aggressively i feel like that you should, yeah be very strong with it don't let anyone pursue pursue but yeah manipulate your pursued you to do something that you don't want to do trust it here with this metal locks there is this greatest love there is unity there is union here okay yeah that's what it is i'll just read the read the story here for you guys because that makes uh, the yeah <clears throat> i'll just read this okay uh, so the metal ox pillar encourages you to believe in the power of love whether it's self love family love romantic love or love of love for all beings love in its purest sorry love in its pure form carries one of the highest frequencies that can heal our pains and ultimately lead to inner joy this card is an invitation to tune into that high frequency and experience love that comes from within start practicing loving kindness towards yourself to align with the love energy and allow your inner light to emerge metal is the element associated with planet venus as a symbol of goddess energy venus is beautiful enchanting and powerful she knows when it's time to turn on the charm and when it's time to replenish replenish and heal the deeply spiritual patient pa patient ox a yin earth sign associated with mother earth is always in tune with what her 
body needs. Hidden in, in metal in the ox inspires us to shine our best, while hidden in water reminds us there is more wisdom when we look deeper in, within. In the beloved Chinese folk, folk tale, the cohort and the weaver girl, cosmic fairy Zinsu comes down to earth and marries a cohort. New Lang. When the goddess of heaven separates, separates her from her lover, heartbroken Zinzu becomes the star Vega, one of the most significant stars in Toism, while New Lang transforms into the star Altair on the other side of the Milky Way. Their great love is celebrated once a year on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month when both stars are finally together for one night. High in the night sky, the tale serves as a reminder that love is the most powerful force and cultivating it starts from within. Oh, this is also talking about self-love. Yes, you've got to protect yourself. That's what it is. There is something that is coming together. There is some union that is coming together. For some of you, if you're single, protect your, uh, yeah, you protect yourself from the unwanted relationship, unwanted sexual relationships. Please trust yourself. Protect your body. Be fierce with it. Yeah, because there is this union, major union. You're meeting the one. That's one thing. For other people, it can be you trusting your intuition aggressively. Like, trust it. Protect it. You know, the motherly energy is very strong, loving yourself, protecting your, um, your, uh, yeah, yourself based upon your intuition. Have that planning, right? Trust it right now, that's what, because there is this great union, uh, as that is what is happening, this great expansion that is happening. You will be able to get one of your wishes come true. So if you want to meet the one that is happening here, and that's where the word celibacy was coming here, so please, uh, yeah, practice that because you're going to meet the one. Um, unwanted things, unwanted relationships, we don't need it because now it's the time you got to trust. You will know it in your gut here that I shouldn't do this. I, 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 I know no need for that, uh, like, yeah, this kind of relationship. That's not true because I want the one that is, that will be there, the greatest love. So start with loving yourself, nurturing yourself. Yeah, that's what it is. So don't get into any unkind, unwanted yeah, that's what that's what I'm strongly feeling here. Maybe there will be someone who will try to pursue you, pursue you with something, tell you, telling you that it's just for fun and all. No, no, there is a major union because again, you will be meeting the one for some of you. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what else. Yeah. Oh, this is for some of you. Really, this is star. This is your wish come true that you have been praying for. That's what is happening. So that's why protect yourself, nurture yourself, give, you give that love to yourself, right? Trust your intuition and plan ahead. Say no when you need to say no. Say yes when you need to say yes because this is the time where you're getting union. Yeah, your stars, yeah. For some of you, this is your one. If you, that's what is... That's what strongly highlighted relationship-wise, you're meeting the one. For other people, this is a thing that you deeply want, a desire that you deeply want. It's coming here. The wish is going to be granted here. And something is happening. The great expansion is happening. So trust your instincts here. You will be shown the signs. Universe is really protecting you. Yeah, wow. So yes, again, it requires strength to trust our intuition, isn't it? You've got to trust your intuition aggressively, right? That's what I'm getting here. You've got to nurture. You've got to be very strict with yourself. Like, yeah, this is what my intuition told me. This is what I want. I'm not going to do anything else. So don't let anyone pursue you, pursue, persuade you into doing something that you don't want to do. Yeah. Don't let anyone stand strong. What you feel like, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what else here. Group number four. Yeah, confidence. Be confident. Be confident in yourself. Yeah. Be confident in your own intuition. Be confident in your own feelings. Like trust it and do it. Don't uh, you know? Don't go. Don't go back and forth. Uh, don't. Uh, yeah. Don't. Uh, sometimes we don't trust our intuition. You need to be more confident with this thing. With your intuition. Again, the number eight has popped up here. Eight. We have eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight is a number you might be seeing here because now eight can represent the infinite abundance or it can also symbolizes something that we don't want is going in cycles here. And this is the time to cut that, cut that, right? So be confident in yourself, trust your intuition because something that you deeply desire is on the cards for you guys, but you got to trust your intuition. Don't reason with your intuition right now, just trust and go with the flow. Be confident about your intuition, right? So let's see what else.
yeah look we have pain and peace here two different energies i'll keep your peace yes divine is uh, yeah there might be a cycle where there has there has been a painful cycle that has been happening to you. you this is high time you get rid of that pattern that painful cycle and this peaceful cycle is what is in cards for you and that's the only reason they have been to telling you to trust your intuition trust trust your intuition that's what it is wow so let's see the final message here from your spirit guides your cards are coming so easily black look john of arc voice of truth stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear of persecution and speak your truth look guys your intuition is guiding you you're heavily protected right now universe is heavily protecting you so your intuition is your truth right and you know that you shouldn't do it so don't let anyone tell you to uh, tell you do this do that when you don't have to do it so voice your opinion stand strong say that i'm not going to do it i'm going to continue to do it uh, continue to do what I feel like so nurture yourself protect yourself right now that's what is important because a cycle of pain is going to end and a cycle of peace is going to come into your life so peaceful relationship so if you had relationship that was painful you're ending that chapter and moving into relationship that is going to be very very peaceful so what I said like if you had relationship that used to cause a lot of pain that's ending and the relationship that is uh, yeah, the relationships like peace, peaceful relationships is what is going to happen. So, so trust your intuition aggressively. That's what I'm getting this energy of fierceness, aggressively protecting yourself, saying no to things that you don't want to do. That's what it is because there is this wish that is coming through here. So there is expansion behind the scene uh, happening. So be confident with your intuition. Say, uh, speak your truth and stick to it. Group number four, that's what it is. That's what the message I received uh, for my lovelies. Hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon, bye-bye. I've been drawn to this image, group number five. Let's see what is this twist and turns happening in your life. We have this solar eclipse that is happening on the 8th of April. So let's see what's the message here. So your, uh, your intuition is very, very strong. I feel like something that you predicted earlier is going to come true. Your predictions are coming true. You are definitely a clairvoyant. Your spiritual gift is going to be upgraded. You already, if you are already, you feel like you're a clairvoyant, your psychic abilities are going to increase. You will be very, yeah, you will be shown things very clearly. Your vision will be very clear. Uh, yes, your third eye chakra is open. I feel like that. You can see through the illusion. You can see through the uh, uh, through the facade of other people, you will be able to sense other people's energy. For some of you, you will be seeing the colors as well. You might be seeing auras as well. That's one of your gift that is upgraded. Colors, you will be seeing people in colors sometimes. I feel like something with your gifts, there is an expansion of your gifts here. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you feel like you're already intuitive, it's going to be upgraded. Yeah, uh, for some of you, I feel like you are a clap audient as well. So uh, yeah, work on that, develop that because, uh, because yeah, you will be able to hear messages from your angels. So this feels like uh, you might be already a person who has spiritual gifts and you will be seeing uh, an upgrade in that. For some of you, maybe a skill of yours that you don't know, you will be becoming aware of that as well so this is about your gifts talents skills okay some sort of skills talents you don't know you had you will be you will be understanding that about that you will be learning more about it okay so yeah something like that you're awakening to your own talents your own skills more things are there uh, yes i will i'll give you the example of an amazon package uh you thought that this is only one Amazon package, but inside the big boss, there was more boxes. Yes, more surprises with your gifts, with your talents here. You're already gifted. You're already talented. There is more to come here. Okay, more. Yeah, more will be shown to you guys in the coming days here. So let's see. Again, one thing I feel felt like if you're someone who doesn't see people in color, like you will be able to see the color, the, the color of the aura. I feel like there will be. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here, color or of aura, something with colors, something with colors, definitely with colors. It will be different for other people, but something to do with colors. Let's see more, what the charms have to add. This is twist and turn. So yes, again, the twist and turn is happening in your uh, gifts, spiritual gifts. So the maybe there is a way you use your gifts. 
now in a different way you will be using it's 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 yeah it's it's it, there is an upgrade happened it feels like a software an app right um yeah it had a little bit of limitations now the app has been upgraded now there is no limitations yes that's what it is yeah that's what it is that's that's what it is you know there was a korean drama i don't know if you watched it uh, so in that it's a very funny korean drama i don't remember the name but that's what been shown to me in that what happens one day this uh, star you know some some meteor or something happened and uh, two people hit uh, got hit by it and uh, and the you know the actress uh, got this gift of uh, seeing the past event very clearly like whatever happened so she touches the cat's bump <laughs> yeah bump and uh, she can see things very clearly but uh, but uh, when she like when she uh, did pedicure she put some nail polish then she could see things more clearly right in that uh, in that korean drama that's what happens so once it was not that clear but when she she you know she cleaned her hands she put some nail polish and all then then the things became more clear the vision was more clear that's what it is for you guys there is an upgrade like <laughs> like the uh, like uh, you know the pedicure helped sorry manicure it's called manicure right uh manicure helped her to sh- uh, see the vision very clearly like that uh like that you will also have an upgrade here so your app is upgraded that's what it is so let's see and uh, maybe for some of you have been watched that uh, korean drama but it's a very good korean drama uh, it's a very comedy it's very nice i like that anyways uh, so let's see um but i don't remember the name i'm sorry if you know comment maybe someone will if you want it maybe someone will watch uh, yeah so comment down if you know it okay if you know the name so let's see uh look we have the home we have the heart we have the cat and we have this uh the ski and the swing machine repair that exactly what i said that's what i'm getting from this charm here but one more thing is like as you give out your gifts you will get much more in return so if you are someone who provides services yes you're upgrading you're providing the service and you're getting more more than you give you're getting it back that's what i feel like here so definitely this is a talent of yours this is something that uh, that you love doing uh, there is a major upgrade there uh, again this can be a talent of yours maybe you are you are someone who's a designer you know don't let let go of the spiritual uh, spiritual gifts most maybe you are not into that but if you're a designer you're finding some books and you're understanding like i can do this and you do it in a unique way and it's bringing more revenue it's bringing more people more clients here so that's what it is so if uh, if you 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 are someone who does something that you like and in that area of your life there is a lot of upgrade here okay so yeah but again your intuition is definitely strong even if you're a designer you might be seeing uh, designs in your third eye and you will be doing it and it will bring more more people more clients will be loving your work here so let's see so there is definitely an expansion here so upgrade so let's see what else so for some of you we want to work from home or if you do uh, if you do work from home there is more more gains more is coming in maybe you have been giving a lot you're not getting it that much but now you give less and you get more that's what is changing <laughs> because you have developed your skills to that like yeah that yeah, your skills are so developed that doing less will give you more i hope this is making sense but that's what i'm getting here So group number five. Let's see what else. What is this twist and turn? Oh my! <laughs> okay, so we have lumen essence. Lumen essence number thirty-five. So number eight. You might be seeing eight, 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 and we have the dragonfly and the heart. Look. and the heart again the heart there is definitely an upgrade guys there is definitely an upgrade the way you will be using skill your skill is also going to going to change the way you you do things it's going to change and that's bringing in more people more people are coming your way more clients 
uh, more people will be loving your work because there is some sort of shift happening. The way you approach things, the way you do th things is changing a little bit because of this upgrade. Yeah, again, the app, you know, the app has been upgraded and now people are, do people are loving the app because of a small upgrade that happened, right? It makes them... Uh, Feel, yeah maybe there is good reviews coming because now this because of this upgrade yes that's what i'm getting here yeah and i feel like you have really worked hard on your self-love you have worked on your inner self you have been working with your shadow self you have been releasing a lot of things and that hasn't been good to you that's why this major upgrade is happening here yeah I, I'm, I'm shown a canvas that is empty now you're painting it in a way that uh, yeah, that makes you happy. So yes, the heart, look again, the heart waves, like, yeah, what you want, how you want it, you, you're getting that. Okay, let's see what else here. Oh, look at her. Look, she's what is she wait and listen. She's listening to her heart. There is this definitely upgrade of your skills, talents. Again, if you're a designer, obviously you just meditate and you see your vision and you're like, yeah, I should do that. And you do it. And it's so beautiful because it's like you're getting this, yeah, this download from the divine and you're working with the divine and, uh, and you're, yeah, and you're putting it out and it's been loved it's because it's unique. It's different. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, your connection with your heart is, is very strong now. You're getting your ideas, you're getting solutions. You're connected with your heart. You're connected with your heart, guys. Your intuition is so strong. Yes, you're, yeah, again, what, what, this is about your skill talents. Something is there that is upgraded. Your app is upgraded. Now the app is awesome and more and more people are downloading the app. That's the feeling, you know, that's the metaphor I'm getting here. Yes, so let's see. And as you know, again, you have made this app, for example, a person who creates an app, right? They have upgraded their app more and more and more people are downloading their app. Now they can just wait and look, yes, it's successful. They don't have to do that much work because the work has been done, right? You have been working on your inner self as well. And now what is happening? Again, I have said this, like you have written the code and now it's working in loop. Now you don't have to put any work. All you need to have, be like quiet and patient. That's it. Uh, the work is going to be done like you don't have to be patient because the work is done like the uh, code is playing and you're getting the results and that's what it feels like now you can rest now you can rest because things are working out the algorithm is working in your favor if you're a youtuber i feel like the youtube algorithm is working in your favor now you have like your past videos are blowing up so you, like you can just wait and listen and just work on your idea slowly and it's it's like yeah the yeah you used to give more but you were you were getting less now you are giving less and you're getting more that's what the twist and turn is here okay so now you can relax look again these two people are so relaxed they're connected with their heart they're listening to the ideas and working on that they're not chasing anymore they're attracting hmm? so let's see what the tarot has to add let's see oh emperor yes you are in this ceo position now you don't like it feels like you're in the highest position now you don't want to climb anything else you're happy wherever you are like this is what the highest i wanted to reach i'm here so there is the satisfaction that that is what I'm seeing here. So now you now you're like I'm at this position. This is the position I wanted. Now I'm satisfied, fulfilled. Now I'm just going to relax. Now I'm just going to relax. That's the energy here. Hmm. Look, we have the sun and the five of wands. Like again, it feels like you have been fighting something. You have been trying so hard to do certain things. You have been working, 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 getting to a place. Like it feels like you were, uh, you were, you wanted a place. Like you want, you, yeah, there felt like a lot of chaos, a lot of competition. Like you were fighting, f fighting for this kind of position. So this can be our inner work as well. Like uh, inner work where, uh, where we want to get into a state where we are happy. But sometimes there is a lot of chaos, conflict, frustration going inside of us. But now you have reached a state of calmness, of peacefulness. Wherever you are, you are happy. You're joyful. Nothing scares you anymore. Right? 
because of self love because of the inner work that you have been doing now you yeah it feels like someone who was trying so hard there was a lot of conflicts and they yeah again i, I will see in this coding right they were writing the codes and it, it feels like a person who was writing the code for peace like if this code plays i'm i'm peaceful right like again the code is a code yeah this code is for peace i want to feel like this but i've been trying i've been working with my inner self i've been trying i have been uh yeah there is a lot of feelings that come now i let go let go let go now finally that code is correct without any error now the code is playing and i'm feeling that peace i hope this is making sense that is that is what it is there was some sort of um uh, resistance there was some sort of conflicts inside of you but now you have let go of it now you're in a state of tranquility peace calmness and that's why you're uh, yeah that's the reason of this upgrade as well yeah you you are accessing who you really are uh, how you maybe you will be changing the way you will be doing things little bit of change and that will bring bring in more rewards there is a lot of happiness that is coming your way joy yeah it feels like you, uh, someone wrote the code like this code when plays i'm i'm in my power i'm feeling peaceful i'm feeling happy and now you have programmed that code into your subconscious mind you have been repeating it you wanted to have that feeling you were repeating it repeating it repeating it now now you don't have to do anything because it's playing that's what is playing that's the code like that's how our subconscious get programmed you have programmed it in your subconscious mind so yeah so let's see what else here Oh we have the queen of cups i have to show you that you are the nurturing energy you are the intuitive you are the, yeah <laughs> you are the intuitive mother so let's see what else yeah union it feels like you are in union with your higher self now it feels like when we when we are in union with the with our higher self our life flows we listen to our higher self and we trust the timing we trust the cycle of life and we go with it we know when we need to be patient we know we need, know when we need to take action because we are with the flow and that's exactly what i feel for you guys and coming to this state has not been an easy journey it required a lot of faith a lot of trust let go of a lot of emotions but you are getting there here you're in alignment with your higher self progress in your spirituality yes yeah reflection again this is the work that you are doing right now doing like look growth you have been working on yourself you have been reflecting on the things you have been uh, like you have been seeing what was not working what was my fear what was stopping me and you are you are coming out of that all you are not allowing that fear to stop you anymore you are understanding where this fear came from and you are releasing it because you are in touch with your higher self you are in union with your higher self that's the reason of your success here so you have been you are someone who has been working on your inner self right you have been doing the shadow work i feel like that you have been working on yourself rather than other people you have been working on yourself you have been taking responsibility of your own life and and that's all is paying off, paying off for you guys again it feels like you wrote right wrote a code <laughs> definitely i feel like you wrote a code uh the this is a code of peace calmness being happy uh, in life wherever we are we are happy and we are enjoying our life choosing happiness right that's what i feel like you wrote a code and it's playing in loop and that's bringing a lot of uh, happiness yeah and that's the feel that's the feeling a lot of growth a lot of expansion here for you guys because as as i mentioned again i'm i don't know why i'm using all that app kind of anal analogy like a, you are like a computer your operating system has been uh, changed right it's been upgraded now you're a different person because the operating system has changed that's what the feeling is so let's see the final message here from your spirit team oh the holy spirit look soul expansion definitely your consciousness is expanding you understand the connections between all things you're connected to the universe you're connected to the super conscious yes 
and you are taking and you're getting the information from the super conscious so whenever you need an idea you get information from the super conscious and you work on it you give your best and you get more much more in return that's what i'm seeing here mm, the holy spirit expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back look miracles Life is going to be like a miracle. Happy things are going to happen. You will be finding yourself at the right place at the right time. And yes, I see that you have done the work. That's the reason. It's not, yeah, it's not coming out of luck. This is the work that you have done. You have been doing it for years, right? I see that. Finally, there is a huge change happening with the solar eclipse. Things are going to be very easy for you guys. Life will feel easy for you guys. You will be seeing a lot of miracles. Because the reason why life will feel easy is because you are taking it like that. Yeah. You are not making your life a suffering. Rather you are going with the flow. It's because you are responding. You are not reacting anymore. It's because of the work that you have done. Right? So that's all I have for my lovelies. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. So last but not the least. So this is the image that you have chosen. Let's see what twist and turns are coming your way with the solar eclipse that is happening in the sign of Aries on April 8th. Okay, so I feel like you're choosing your roses wisely. That's what I'm getting here. So you were picking the roses with thrones, but now you're picking the roses uh, that is not give, going to give you pain. It's only going to give you pleasure. So you're cutting. It feels like you're cutting something that doesn't give you pleasure from your life. You're giving. You're taking only the roses that gives you um, pleasure, not pain. I hope this is making sense, but I I know. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like you're you're. You're taking in only the things that give you pleasure. You're, you're cutting the things that is not giving you pleasure. I just gave a very a bad example with the roses. But definitely that's what I'm getting here. So let's see what is the message here. What twist and turn. I feel like you're making different decision and you will be very proud of it. So the decisions that you usually make, you're changing it. You're, uh, yeah, you're... Now you are making different decisions for yourself. You're choosing something that is different and you will be very proud of it. Oh, you're committed to your own harvest. You're committed to your own heart. You're committed to your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own deep feelings. And that's the reason why you're avoiding something where you're cutting something that doesn't give you that kind of pleasure, happiness. That's what I'm getting here. You're making decisions based on the wisdom of your own heart. You're not making decisions because, uh, because it's valid or because it's logical. No, you're making decisions that gives peace to your own heart. That's the change here. You know, you might have been a very logical person. You might have done what is logical. And you might have even done something that doesn't give peace to your heart before it's, you know, in the past because it's a logical thing to do, but not anymore. You're focusing on your own harvest. You're focusing on your own peace. You're, fo you're committed to your own happiness. That's what it feels like. So, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why I feel like you're listening to the deep wisdom, deep knowledge of your own heart and sticking to it. And... Uh, and now you're not afraid of going alone, going by yourself. Because you have done that, right? You have done, you have focused on other people's happiness. You have focused on what makes other people uh, feel good. You did, you did, you did. And you got, uh, you got into this energy where you're, you were like this cactus. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were leave, leaving in extreme conditions, surviving by the resources that you had. No one is giving anything to you. Yes, cactus is very strong, but sometimes you don't have to be this strong when you're choosing yourself first, right? You don't have to live like that. And I feel like that's what the change is. You're making decisions based on your heart, based on the, based on the wisdom of your heart that gives peace to your own heart and you're making that kind of necessary changes and that's the twist and the turn. You're doing something for yourself, you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your own harvest. It feels like a person who has a garden to take care of, you're taking a, a neighbor's garden, uh, taking, you're taking care of the 
neighbors, your neighbor's garden as well. You have your own garden to take care of, but by not tending to your own garden, you're tending to other people's garden, your neighbor's garden. And that garden is growing well and your garden is like all bad, right? Nothing is growing well. And now you're like, no, no. I want to focus on my own garden and I want to grow it. And that's exactly what you're doing. This is a metaphor. Like we have been tending on to other people's. And that's why we are, yeah, the resources that we have, you're using it. We're using it like the cactus. And once all the, uh, maybe you are at a stage where all the resources you have used, now you will get right down like the cactus. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to survive because it has used everything. Now it has to give something to itself, right? And I feel like you will be giving yourself something like that. And you're letting go of, yeah, other people's, yeah, yeah you're not tending to other people's garden anymore you're turning to yourself that's what i'm getting here so that's why you're cutting the codes i feel like that you're taking care of yourself you're prioritizing self-care you're prioritizing your own health that's the change here you will be i feel like you will be getting called to do that more that's what you will be feeling that you need to take care of yourself if i don't take care of myself if i don't have the health i will be dependent on other people and that's not that's not the thing I, I want for myself, right? So you taking care of your health, your well-being, you making yourself the first priority. That and you your yeah, you're making the you you want that peace in your heart, and that's what you're making your first priority. That's what I feel like you're being called to do that. So group number six. And you have this, you know, if you look at the image, there is this uh, sword. Yes, you're cutting the codes of pleasing, like the, the pleasing behavior, people pleasing behavior and all. You are cutting codes with that. You are taking care of your well-being. You are standing up for yourself. Like you have been plucking, like it feels like whenever you used to pluck the uh, a rose, it, it picks you because of the thorns. Now you, ha you, now you know how to pluck the, pluck, pluck the rose without getting picked. That's what it is. That's the change here. Mm. So let's see what else. Oh, oh, this came for another group, radical expansion. Yes, this will take you to the radical expansion. You taking care of your own heart, your own well-being, it will take you to a place where you want to go. It will give you the success that you are aiming for. It will give you the expansion that you want to see in your life. By tending to other people's garden, you will see the growth of other people's garden. You will not see your go your garden growing. It can, it can talk about our inner garden where we are giving everything to other people and we are not tending to ourselves. Our inner garden will get dried down because we are stressing, we are thinking of other people. But you know, we are not taking care of our well-being, anything. So our inner garden is died drawn. There, there might be thriving because you are the one giving your energy to them, right? And now it's not the time to do that. Now you're understanding that I have to take care of my inner garden. I have to tend to my inner garden. I have to water it properly. I have to nurture it properly. Then only I'm going to thrive. And this change that you're making, it's not only going to change your health, right? Your health will improve everything every other area of your life will beautifully expand here that's where the message is so yeah so let's see yeah water her oh path to independence look the moving up the vortex again the pig is here and this is a very good sign it's like the abrahamic if have you listened to her if you listen to her she talks about the vortex vortex like again it's 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 a place where we are in alignment where what we feel is what is what we are getting it back because of the high frequency and as you tend to take care of yourself as you tend to take care of your own garden uh, there is a lot of expansion, there is a lot of growth, there is a lot of independence. So uh, as you tend to take care of your health, your well-being, your work, you're not getting stressed by other people's work, you're not getting stressed by other people's energy, you will see everything expanding. Money is coming, uh, more health, you are happy, you're radiant, you're making better decisions for yourself because no one is getting, yeah, no one is giving... You know, no one is giving their opinion. You're not getting influenced by other people's opinions. You're 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 making dif you're, you're taking different decisions you're working on yourself and that's leading to a lot of happiness a lot of success here yes you're fine yeah yeah again with this radical expansion and a path to independence you're moving away where you will feel independent 
Yeah, again, it can be, you know, sometimes with emotions, we are so dependent on other people. Now you're taking that power back here. You're not going to be dependent. You're not seeking for validation anymore. You're validating yourself. And number nine, 19 talks about the sun and we have the sun as well. Dolphin symbolizes happiness. So yeah, breaking free from the patterns, like not living like everyone is living. Yes, maybe in your environment, everyone is doing everything. Like uh, for your family, you have seen your mother do it, so you are doing it. But no, when you don't feed yourself that love, light, you will not be able to give that. If you are not growing, if you are not tending to your own garden, it's if it's dried down, no matter how you get, uh, tend to other people's garden, it's not going to give you anything in return, right? You're understanding that and giving to yourself is the way to give to others. That's what you're learning. I feel like that. If you're not happy, you will not be able to make other people happy. You're understanding that here. So you doing something for yourself. You learning something that you wanted to learn. Maybe you didn't find time for that because... Uh, because there are so many responsibilities, right? You're tending to other people's garden, as I tell, told. If you're tending to uh, uh, other you know, neighbors' garden, you don't have time uh, for tending to your garden or doing something that makes you happy. Maybe there is a wish of yours that you you want, but you are you don't don't have time to do it. Maybe you want to learn something. You don't have time because you're tending other people's garden, right? Now it's like you're making decisions for yourself. Like I want my time. I'm not going to tend to this person's garden. Let them do it. It's not my job. Uh, I'm going to do something that I have been wishing for. I wanted to learn this. I'm making time for that. Yes, you making time for yourself in a way is going to lead to this expansion here. You might have a feeling like that, that you're not doing anything for yourself. You have to do that. Go, focus on your harvest. Focus on yourself right now. That is the game changer for you guys. <clears throat> so let's see what else here. Oh my God, your cards are like all on the floor. I will... I'll, just give me a minute, okay? Um, I'll shuffle again. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look again, she's climbing by herself. She's climbing the ladder. She needs... Yeah, that's what it is. You have been climbing ladder for other people. Now it's time to climb the ladder for yourself. Right? Do something that makes you happy. Maybe you always wished to travel somewhere, to do that solo trip. Go and do that. Go and do that. Don't wait for other people. Don't get dependent on other people. Do something that always, always, it was always there in your back, back of your mind, like I want to do this, I want to learn this, I want to go ahead with this, I want to do this, whatever it is, go ahead with it. Even if, even if no one is there, go. You can do it by yourself because divine is working. So whatever you're planning, preparing, it's time to take action because there is expansion there, okay? Wow, look. Ten of coins. Interesting is like once you start tending to your own inner garden, you know, the growth is going to happen very fast. Very fast. All you need to do is to give yourself that love that, uh, yeah, cut that, cut, cut that uh, dependence. And once you start giving yourself that space, that love, once you start doing something that makes you happy, things will blossom quickly for you guys. The change will be very fast, actually. The expansion will happen. So, yes, that's what it is. For some of you, if you have this feeling like, I, I need to travel, right? I want to uh, see the world. Don't wait for anyone. Look for the... Uh, you know, you maybe, yeah, maybe it's not the right time to travel, but go and look for the flight tickets. Prepare yourself for that. Because once you do that, you will, you will get opportunities. Yeah, miraculous opportunities will come your way. So don't get limited right now. Hmm? So, let's see. Freak. Yes, that's the thing. It will change your frequency. That's what it is. The moment you are going to take care of yourself, the moment you are going to tend to your inner garden, your garden rather than other people's garden, there is a shift that will ha happen. 
and you will be in the vortex and once we are in the vortex things come easily to us that's what it is you know you have this card here moving up the vortex one of the way to move up to the vortex is gratitude to be grateful for all the things that you have already manifested and to take care of yourself to practice self love to say no to the things that is taking your energy time resources from you and focusing on your harvest focusing on your growth focusing on your happiness will help you to change your frequency because when you give to yourself that love that light when when you do something for yourself when you learn something new you will feel so happy so fulfilled and that will change your vibration that will change your energy your frequency and once your frequency is shifted these things that you want will come easily in you know in in miraculous way that you don't even expect so don't try to micromanage universe don't think like that you cannot things will happen in a way that you least expect yeah universe can yeah can give us things in a way that we know never expected right so yeah so let's see what else here la yeah, you you are going to be in the flow state the moment you decide to take care of yourself the moment you decide to yeah i want to learn this i have been aiming to learn this i'm going to learn this that's the moment you will change your frequency and things will be in the flow once you're in the flow things will come easily for you guys easily 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 yeah so let's see the final message here from your spirit guide final message and look at the you know blue color is very strong in your pile so again the throat chakra communicating your needs communicating uh, the things that you want to communicate communicate saying no uh, saying that you're not available today not doing other people's responsibilities doing something for yourself that will lead to radical expansion that will lead to the flow actually you doing this for yourself will only benefit you and your family you and your loved ones you might feel like it will not benefit your loved ones but that's not the case it's the opposite so let's see the final message here okay one card is on the floor yeah karmic releasing oh wow this 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 is the end of one huge chapter this is a new chapter that is beginning so once you start taking care of yourself once you start giving that love to yourself you will be able to cut the energies that is not good for you you will be able to balance your karma so one thing i feel like um the more you connect with your own heart the more you feed yourself that love the more uh, it feels like i'm shown uh you know the role the you know you have seen um the ferris wheel once you start uh the pace the pace yeah it will it will speed up like that once you start giving that love to yourself the pace will the speed will go up and up and and yes the energy will gain the gain momentum that's what i'm getting yeah things will speed up for you guys so start giving that love light to yourself because one chapter of your life is over the karma has been balanced now by giving lot of love lot of care to yourself you will be able to tend your inner garden as and this as, as you tend to this inner garden the flowers are also all going to blossom here and speaking in metaphor right i have one more card so the final message wow like you're a teacher right you have so much to give to the world yes yeah don't be afraid uh uh yeah if you have a lot of wisdom that you have to give give it without fear give your wisdom give your knowledge put yeah whatever you are learning put it out as you learn put it out without any fear so do what makes you happy here your karma is balancing the past karma is over now it's time for good energy here use amethyst crystal i'm getting here it will be very beneficial for you guys in the spiritual journey here so yeah that's what i'm getting for you guys i hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye